Nezuko plays games just resubscribed for two months. Thanks so much. Hi, Squiz. <laughs> Hi, Nezuko. Uh, yeah, I feel like shit. Hello, everybody. Hi, Foxtrot. I saw you jiggling your way in here. Hi. Uh, I feel like death. Thus, I get to look like death. I hope you're enjoying my extra special stuffy-nosed uh, model here today. Uh, it's a regular librarian. Sonny, fuck off. Me and you both. Oh yeah, I, uh, I will try to mute any time that I'm going to have a coughing fit, but I'm pre-warning you now. I'm dying. Yeah, just like that. Oh, fuck you, Sonny. <laughs> that was me fucking off. All right, fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Taking out a dying squid like this. Where's Cat Cafe Manager? There you are. All right, let's do this. I don't know how long I'm gonna be on for today, but I'm gonna- I've got boiling hot water in cups. I somehow suspect my usual shenanigans are not gonna be as tolerated. You know what? Maybe they will be. Maybe they'll be tolerated more because I'm more worried about me going on stream than like, you know, what's going on there. You know? I don't know. Ooh. I Oh, it's a little shout out. You can't see it because my ass is in front of it, but you know. Load the game! <laughs> right. Right. I was doing something. Shouldn't you be getting rest? Yeah, probably. Uh, like, I had a, a bit of a trouble with, uh, getting some sleep in. Uh, mostly because, uh, I, I couldn't sleep with my sleep mask. Um. Because my nose was so stuffed and I only have a nose thing for, um, uh, for my CPAP mask. Oh, before we start, we have an important message. Go for it. I'll drink some water. The tiger honk of helping people feel better faster. Thank you, tiger honk. <laughs> New model? Nope, this is an old Halloween one I made, and I, I, I absolutely was ready for it. <laughs> Hi, Mary, but this is how I feel. Look into my eyes and tell me I deserve this. <laughs> I, I just feeling sick, fo sick Foxtrot, and I thought I would have a model that was representative. How are you doing, by the way, Mary? Why am I here? I, I wasn't supposed to go here. Uh, I could do this. You're feeling sick too? That was adorable. It was, right? I'm okay, the kids are screaming heads off. No, kids, don't be screaming. Mary needs to hear and to, to, to be, to, you know, be a conscious person. Oh, I can't call anybody yet. Now I can. Uh, Bonner. Yeah, give me a story, Bonner. I need a story about your old man. old man being his husband. I'm gonna try and unplug my nose for a second. Ugh. Oh, why are your kids screaming? They just screaming to scream? Excuse me, I have a cat to pat. Uh, like I, I was saying, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for today, but I wanted to, I wanted to get on here. Like, I felt like I had to, to come on here and be like, hey, I'm not missing you guys on anything. But yes, 
And I'm the one who got the most sick. Like... I like, only provide this community with six quid and six quid accessories like Gaviscon. Look, Gaviscon? What's Gaviscon? Sorry, because they found a toy and broke a part off. Oh no. But my daughter's mad because I let my son play Spire on TV and she wants shows. Just kids. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that. You, I get that. I do. I totally get that. And I, I, yeah. I, I mourn your child neediness. Yeah, that sounds about right. <coughs> oh, it's a cough medicine. I'm the only one who got this sick. Come here, come here, chat. Stitchy got a little cough, like she was like, <coughs> bore, got a tickle in the throat. I have fucking death. That's what I have. <laughs> Don't get too close, you'll infect us. Oh, damn. They go away. Oh, Squid got so sick they pulled an extra, pretty much. Hold on, I'm gonna mute for a second. I wish I got hammered. God, alcohol sounds good. Do you know what I have right now? I have Mucinex and hot water in a cup that I'm drinking. I'm just drinking hot water, hoping it'll save my throat. I get the sense Caterwaul's become a little bit brighter since you moved here, Squid. You really shouldn't be allowing me to clean your stuff. How are you doing, Anna? Add honey. I will, I will probably add honey when, uh... <sighs> During either a break or when I'm done. Excuse me. There's two toilets. Go use a toilet. Fighting depression but winning. Well, you know what? That's all we ask for. You keep fighting, honey bun. Now get out of here. It's morning. Get out of here. Get out. Cascootin. Seems I've been delivered a message talking about squid here. Oh, what's that? Oh, this water is so fucking soothing. You have no idea. It reads, uh-huh. Alright, noted. Uh, that's just straight up beautiful, by the way. Hmm. Thank you, Zani. Oh. Oh, I can train my staff more. You're better at, like, food stuff, so let's... Uh, get the tea roof. Okay. There we go. And you're also a gourmand. You get to work, hoot hoot. There you go. Good job. Uh, there. <sighs> I'm... I am here, and I am alive, and I am for all the goodness. There we go. To the morning, once I feed the cats. They all have little beds now. Huzzah. To morning. Little do they know they'll be coughing like this soon. Ha 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 ha. Rawr. Root beer. I'll probably get some bread extra. Let's see. Lettuce. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Pat, pat. <sighs> good job, kitties. Good job. You're the first cat I saw, so you get pet. Oh wait, was I gonna go buy a new toilet? I think I was gonna buy a toilet. Do you have a better toilet? Like... Oh, that's a nice toilet. How do I get that? I need more gold. Okay. Yeah. I like that you can uh, make a decision on like who's what, like 
who's all coming here. Um, uh, petting the kitty. Adopt. We already had a name from last week that I was going to use, so where is it? There we go. Mephit. There we go. Good job, Mephit. <coughs> Tiny tummy. Aw. Artistic and vagabonds. Get in there, Mephit. Bonner, you didn't tell me a story about your husband. You just say silly things like, people like me. And I'm like, I don't know about that. My milkshakes! There we go. There we go. Oh. Thank you, Sunny. It's delightful. Tell me stories about your husband, Bonner. I just want to know about your hubby. Weirdly, I think your sick voice makes the cat impression stronger. Excellent. That's what I want. Also, there is a cat... Um, <coughs> there is a cat... Um, what is it? A cat... Oh god, what is it called? The cat cafe that we talked about on Friday. Like, uh... It's, uh... It, it, they've got a couple of places, so... Yeah, I'm all good about that. Oh, yes, talk, talk, talk. Bonner, where's my story about your old man? There you, there you go, kitty. Bonner got a- Ah! Why water on my face? Actually, that would feel so good. Carla Lala is an old friend of mine. I reckon the two of you are getting along great. You're both lovable weirdos. You say that to my sick face? I'm serving a sa- You're gonna say it in front of my salad? Uh, excuse me. Much excuse. So sorry. Oh, kitty. There you go. I play with you. I play. I wonder how the cats would react to that. Not well, I think. I don't know. Maybe they would be okay with it because, like, they're... They're good with that kind of thing? I don't know. I, I, had, a, I had a cat who was kind of weird on, on water. I'd say it do a lot more in front of your salad. Hopefully not right now, because, like, that'd be a bad choice, you know? I mean, could you? Sure. But would you want to? Probably not. You'd probably be- oh, I thought that the person wanted me to play with them. Uh, as you're wrapping up your shift at Cloffy Breaks, an unknown figure steps through the door. It looks like they traveled a lot. What? Well, howdy there, Squid, right? This must be the famed Cloffy Breaks I heard so much about. Real pleasure to be making your acquaintance. Why is your name Hoover? Why? Why? Who are you? Well, pardon me for not introducing myself properly. I'm Hoover. I like to think of myself as a bit of a traveler. And my feet... Uh, have carried me here to Catterwall. Would you want to? Probably not. Rule 34F. If it exists, there's a fetish of it. Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah, not right now unless there's a class A hazmat suit involved. Oh no, trust me, you do not want these germs. My body is prepared to fight off all sorts of colds and flu. In the winter and autumn, you know, when those motherfuckers normally show up, not in the summer. Oh, this hot water is so good. Oh, it soothes my throat so nice. My vagabond friends told me this place. They say you're keen to hand out a nice cool glass of water while the cats provide a comfort for a weary traveler's heart needs. 
two squids, one shot. Ah. Thank you for ending my misery. I like to collect knickknacks and such and such as I make my way around. I recently picked up some things. I was thinking of you. Ah, what, Foxy? Oh, that was for yourself. Thinking of you of all folks might be mighty interested in. I'll be setting up my little curiosity. I love fucking curios. Uh... So I think I'll be sticking along. I'll be selling unique kinds of furniture. Us travelers called them friendship furniture. Yes, Foxy threw a bomb at me. Uh, people tend to gather on them and have conversations. Oh. Friendship furniture elicits its own unique stories and conversations. Okay, thank you. Sounds good to my ears. Try picking up a friendship furniture. Ah! I'll be getting out of your hair now. The town folk, filled with delight, have helped a lot in restoring the cat shrine. The Grimlikin saunters towards you, their mouth curled into a feline approximation of a smile. Did you say you loved yourself this morning? No, I was shocked I woke up this morning. Honestly, my nose was, like, you know, had, like, rolled up, ow, rolled up, like, cute, uh, like, tissue paper in my nose. I won't say it. You can't make me. I can't even blow my nose. Ah! Uh. I love myself. Thank you. Don't throw the chocolate. Oh, thank you. Little thing... Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you, Valak. It's so pretty. And thank you for your 40 biddies. Thank you. Oh, celebration of life. Oh, thank you. Shrine's looking closer to its original splendor. Okay, am I, like, blind? I don't see anything changing. Unless it's, like, magical. I think it's time I tell you why this is important. And how I knew Grandmother Nain. I'd like to know. The story starts long ago when humans first settled here. <coughs> These humans were fiercely dedicated to, to thriving in a changing world. A world of steam engines and smoking chimneys. So we stuffed bird nests down their fucking chimneys. A settlement prospered, but none of the humans were happy. They lost all delight in living. It was their initial enemy, the wild cats, who through ample demonstration taught them to find delight in every little moment. The cats and humans lived in peace for a time. The humans took care of cats, and cats brought the humans delight. The humans built this shrine and made many salmon offerings to the cats here. Oh shit, I didn't bring any salmon. Out. I didn't bring anything. To remind themselves of their history. More cats came to the valley, and soon the settlers named their town Catterwall. My protection was no longer required. However, the world is changing again, or perhaps it's been like this for a while now. Humans are forced to spend their time worrying and fretting about all the insecurities placed upon them. And so the shrine fell into disrepair, and the cats had to fend for themselves yet again. It's always been the wish of the cats here to bring help- uh, to bring the humans delight and relief. My goal, and your grandmother's goal, was to bring the town together by restoring the shrine. And to fill their lives with delight. Delight for cats and nature and each other. Your grandmother couldn't see through to the end. I have no doubt she's happy to see you continue her work. So I must now ask you once again. Please bring delight to the cats and townspeople and find aid in restoring the shrine. I will! We're very close now. Only a little bit left to go. If I don't end up being sacrificed on a bloody table for the delight of wild cats everywhere, I feel slightly disappointed. But that might just be the, like, three hours of sleep. I place my hope in you, little thing. Little squid thing. The Grimlikin leaves as a sense of tension falls over the cat shrine. You hope things will turn out alright. Good job, everybody. What? Oh, you don't have a bed. Let me go get you a bed. Bed. I need- those are litter boxes. I need beds. 
Royal cat bed. Wait, no, I wanted to get a better toilet first. Ooh, harvesters. Nice toilet. Now this you see is quite interesting. This is the squid community, and despite their rather feral seeming behavior, at first they are quite fond of their leader, the oh. historic squid. Though oh. they seem to initially show disrespect, they have great care for them. Oh. And upon seeing them get sick, wishes to help them feel better in whatever way they can, even if it is only through the medium of TTS voices and redeems because they want their pack leader to experience mm. happiness. Oh, that was fucking sweet. Kitty, I put a bed down for you. Go, go, go to the bed, kitty. Go to bed, Maffet. I put a bed down. Maybe you won't see it till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, was that? Yeah. Oh, of course, there was going to be a hesitation to balls. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. But that's okay. I'm very sorry. We've already adopted out these beautiful babies. Sorry, Valak, you got adopted. So did Wolfie, Sonny, Caboose, and Raccoon. We still have Nacho Face, Stitchy, Vashala, uh, Z, Muffin, and Mephit. Yes. Had to be in there somewhere, but I wanted to let the message go in untainted first. That's what she said. That's right, I said it. Oh, this was mastered. Okay. Gotta get to place a new lure. Okay, go to town. Curiosities. Nan's photo book. Cozy campfire. Can I put those outside? Thank you. We'll find out. God, please let them be able to go outside. Oh no, they have to go inside. Oh, it should be placed outdoors. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Here we go. Excellent. Ah, oh, there's stuff over here. Why didn't nobody tell me? Ah, uh, ne next cup. I have two cups of hot water just waiting for me to drink, and I've already drank through my my Duncan cup. Oh, let's see. I need cherries. I need coffee. I need ham. I need milk. And I need strawberries. Thank you. Booper. <sighs> okay. Right, I was gonna go get the fancy lure. Hardy home cooking lure, that's the one. Thank you. Lots of psst, 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 psst. Is it just a basic? It is. Oh no, it's a diner. Stray kitties! Now's your chance! I like that creepy cat. Creepy Siamese. Get out of here. I love you. Oh, 
Arwell's peering over a set of faded photos from Nan's photo book as you and Mateo approach him. What you looking at there, friendo? Please don't tell me there's photos of me with bracers, because that could count as blackmail material. Is that a British thing, is calling braces bracers? Actually, that's exactly what I'm looking at. Check this out. Arwell presents a picture of a very young-looking Arwell and Mateo hugging clumsily with big smiles on their faces. Young Arwell's expression is part joy and part pain as little Mateo's bracers are poking him in the chin. Aww. Oh, I suppose I vaguely remember Nan taking some photos of us when we visited her and her cats. There's like a whole book's worth, actually. I guess we visited her cat's cafe a lot. <laughs> ah! Did I jump scare you? No. no Why? No. I'm I'm sick, Crafty. Your weakness is pathetic. It is. I'm very weak. I'm very weak and I'm very weak. Thank you, though, for being here. Hi, how you doing? You two should look friendly in that photo. We do, huh? Some people refer to us by the charming title, The Twin Tricksters. We were always up to some sort of shenanigan. Shenanigans. Are we talking about the teeth? Because bracers are suspenders. Oh, are they? Bracers are suspenders? Okay. Hmm. I, I guess that explains some stuff. Wasn't it the dual dunces? We were less about sh shenanigary and more harebrained or I can't say words. That is a word, isn't it? You're looking at me like it isn't. Oh god. The clothing one, not the teeth one. Yeah, that's what I was think I was wondering. We call the teeth one braces still. Alright, alright. Why'd you two stop being friends? Mateo and Arwell grow silent. You notice they're both looking at the old photo. Go on, tell him. Alright, I went to business school. Started my own company. We kept getting in these little verbal disagreements. Arguments, Mateo. We got into arguments. You stopped knowing how to have fun. You told me you no longer had time for my childish time wasting. I suppose I did say so that. So your penguin girlfriend didn't get as sick as you did. Yeah. Quite the frustrating dilemma you're in there, bucko. It is. It's time to sort that out with the Wife Strife Life 5000s. Ooh. Just one spray of this bacteria-laden water, and you have one fresh penguin wife to snuggle up with. Oh. Only nine out of ten. Penguin wives show negative feelings Ooh, at being made out. sick for the sake of snuggles, made for all squids. Good. And, well, actually, I have no idea who else would buy this. Oh, that's a good point. <coughs> that's that's a good point. That's a good point. Thank you very much. Mateo looks like he's working up to say something. His mouth keeps opening and closing if he's about to start a sentence. Look, it's all right. I get. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that. I'm sorry for just leaving our friendship at that. Oh, thanks. It's cool. We're we're cool for now. Suddenly, Mateo hugs Arwell tightly. It looks sort of clumsy and awkward. Mateo's glasses painfully poke into Arwell's chin. But it looks like the most natural thing in the world for them. Aww, I ship them. Unless they've already got people, then I don't ship them. Yes, yes, yes. Clean it up here. Taking all the orders. Oh, you got it, you got it. Ugh. <sighs> I'd ship them, but stamps cost eight pounds now. Oh, that that sounds like a problem. Yes, coochie coochie. I just take the orders. platter hey. yes give it. me stories pull it bump it squeeze it why are you calling the police I'm just a toy <laughs> that was pretty good stray cats have come looking for food 
What? Come on. Good job. Get on out of here, kitties. Why do you come at the end of the day, sir? Why, if it ain't Squid, me favorite cat herder. You should be proud. I know at least three. Oh. Bonnie, Bonner's cheerful voice isn't matched by his pained expression. How are you holding up, Bonner? Ah, uh, you're as canny as your granny. Nothing can get past her either. Got a bit of a row with me hubby Gavin this morning. That old man's got a tongue like a viper, I tell ya. Told me to quit my job as a ferryman. I already gave up the wide open ocean in the, in the, for the man. Now you expect me to give up this tiny trifling river? Wait to hear why. I've grown forgetful. Dangerously so, according to him. Hogwash and balderdash, I say. What did you eat for breakfast yesterday? That's unfair. Arwo made me uh, breakfast and his food's plain strange. And no, I don't remember. You win. There's a thought I've been having, Squid. I only ever told your gran. I love Catterwall, and I love Gavin, but sometimes I dream of escaping. Return to a life of adventure and uncertainty. In fact, I bet leaving would clear me head right up. All this peace and quiet's made my brain go soft. Oh, it's totally not your age. Uh, I think you should listen to Gavin. I knew you'd be on his side. You're all so damn sensible. But you're probably right. I should probably hear him out. Thanks for listening to me, Trouble Squid. I'll have to make the old ceasefire mimosa. Bonner's Aquarium. I love it. Thank you. Ah, they're gonna look for sashimi. No. Why are you- I bought a bed! Wait. One. I think the other cats took your, your, your bed. So I'm very sorry for that. Hold on. I must build bigger. Bigger. <sighs> oh, I don't have any more materials. Come on. Okay, I gotta bring the wood people back in. Hilk! 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 Oh my god, sounds like you're dying, Goofy. I can get a new cutting board. Hold on. <gasps> He's sick too. Ah, it's true. Uh, okay. Oh, my eyeballs. Was that a sneeze? It was. I just didn't watch it. I'll have to hear it. It was, uh. It was something. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Valak. Uh, let's see. Yeah, please have a new bed. And I wanted to get a new cutting board. Hyuk! 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 That poor well, baby. excuse me, princess. Time to kill Ganondor. Why? What do you mean? I'm in the wrong, gosh. Darn series. You are. I'm sorry. This is about cats. It's about kitties. And look, the kitty finally got his own bed. That would have worked better on the first one. That's yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet water. I like that I'm opened up against by my against my will. Like, pretty sure I shouldn't have to open it if I'm not ready. R two D two, you get me some more Mucinex, because that'd be great. Now everything else is good. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. I need more fishies. Oh, 
Rare indeed. Oh, this kitty's getting played with. Yes, you are. I have an important question. Yes. I might have a samely important answer. Do you remain sick if you can't remember if you're sick? Oh, I'm, I'm sure the, your body would find a way. Would absolutely find a way to remind you you're sick. Time to find out. Ah, oh, I'm not. Oh, I what? If, oh no! Uh, what if I sneeze? Well. Look right here. <coughs> hey, you. Finally awake. I am awake, and still ill. I still love that one though. Ah, uh, see, Valak, you should have coughed at the same time I did. Taking orders. Kitty. I swear, if I go to a kitty cafe, you're all getting pictures of the kitties that I play with. I'm just letting you know that. Oh, I gotta level up on my all sorts of stuff. Let's see, on my talking. Fixin, uh, let's see. And my service, thank you. Yep, excuse me, I gotta go call a regular. Mateo! Still 180, okay. Alright, just wanna make sure. I know where my own door is. I know. Oh, let's see. At least that cat went outside to pee. Nobody ever goes out at the fireplace. Why is that? There you go, Mateo. I took your order. Excuse me, that's delivery. Take your order. Chat, chat, chat. Oh, boom! Luxurious toilet. Let's see. We're getting a refined palette. You've really channeled your core com. Competency. Oh my god. Into a customer journey, Squid. That doesn't mean anything, but it's a compliment. Oh, thank you, Mateo. Thank you. Good job, kitties. Good job. Okay, so the question is, is anybody going out? Why do I have this if nobody's going out there? How dare they? Uh, Mephit, training you up. Chonker. Gamer cat won't stop gaming. Ah, uh, gamer cat. Uh. Okay, let's see. Excuse me, I gotta go to town. And, uh. Cheese. I think everything else is good. Thank you. Party home lure. I'm close to getting one of those. Party home lure looks like something else, but I, I don't think I'm allowed to say it yet.
Ah, delicious. Ah, oh, thank you, Wolfie. How are you doing today? If you're in chat and you have not been able to name someone or something after a cat, please say something in chat, because we got a new kitty whose name is Mixtape, and I love him. Give y'all a second. Oh, otherwise his name... Gonna be Mixtape. Oh, ouch. Crickety crack, we're back. <laughs> Mixtape, you spit out some fresh beats. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm gonna name it after somebody who is making me do a collab this weekend. Opal. Go on, Opal. Ruby, you go out. Go on, have fun. Cats are having great fun, I assume. Get out of here, I'll cook these up. There you go, I have made all sandwiches, huzzah. I know, there you go. People. Good morning, Veshala. Mephit is over in here, just to let you know. Let's see. There's Mephit. Already a level 4 kitty. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Gotta play with the kitty. How are you doing today? Has Boar lost his mind in that game yet? Not sure, I've been lurking attempts to get some work done. Oh, well, that's a problem. You know, gotta try and be workful. Uh -huh. Kitties! There's two more kitties to adopt. Hey, bitch! Hey, bitch! This is one. An observer. Nice. Silly kitties. Oh, someone needs to be played with. No, 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 no. Come back here. Let me play with you. Oh, no play with. Okay. You be that way, you beautiful, beautiful little baby. Ooh, do I have enough of that for that study table? That's the one. No, I wanted to decorate mode. So I don't know if this is needed anymore. So I'm going to put it in the inventory. I'm gonna put this. Oh god, this is. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in inventory. Put that there. Just see if that'll help. Okay. And I'll need another bed. To town! Nice to see you too. I need a cushiony cat, but thank you. Need to make Squid laugh. Something Squid likes. Need to find something that's just perfect. You got it? What is it? I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is my rectum. Oh, sh! Oh, it's been so long since I've heard you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that.
Opal is definitely gorgeous. Definitely a punk rocker. There we go. We're at our cat limit. Oh no! All right, well, let's go take a look. Nacho Face is our oldest one, so we're looking for a punk home for, for Nacho Face. I know. It looks like you have a different model today? Yeah, because I'm sick. So this felt like an appropriate face reaction for my being sick. It's an old Halloween model. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. Uh, it happens. Like I said, I'm trying not to cough directly into people's ears as I'm streaming. So other than that, you know, like I said, I had no idea how long I was streaming for today. Simply because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I did eventually get some rest. Here you go, Nacho. Yeah, go have fun, Nacho. Oh, new project. There we go. Only a coward has a cat limit. Too true. Those fools. Uh, I would like recipes. Thank you. Uh, I also need to pick up bread. Um, coffee. Lettuce. And then... Uh, rice? Rice. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Is there anything else that needs a new cookie cutting kind of thing? I don't think so. <gasps> oh, I scrolled up the very bottom. It's a na 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 na. This is inspired by Raccoon. We should have a co this computer from Courage. This cowardly dog is DTS. Oh, is that available? Like, can I do that? Is that one of them I have? Because if it is, I ought totally go for it. Vampire chairs, excellent. Very cool. This model actually really disoriented me when we came in because it looks too much like me IRL. I'm just a mirror to you, Sonny. Get some vitamin D. I had other Halloween ones, but you know, just not a... Not the correct feel, you know? <laughs> Just a mirror explains why I screamed. Exactly. Hi. Come on, Mateo. Come get- come give me things. <gasps> oh, they're chatting! That's why they're here. Had to. You do that. The sun's a deadly laser. I know. I got sunburnt when I went to the Ren Fair. So I'm- I'm peeling, also. Light peeling, so, you know? Just like, ah, that's a layer of skin I no longer need. Carla Lala is at the study table, teaching a not-so-captive audience. Uh, now pay attention, class. I expect total focus on my animal care class. Carla's taking this whole being a teacher thing pretty serious, like, huh? I never took her for a strict teacher type, to be honest. Well, now, do you two need to be separated? No whispering in class. <laughs> All right. Squid, take your seat. Chop, chop. I am so throwing a paper airplane at Finn. Nope. Passing a note to Arwell. I have passed Finley a secret note. Uh, you have Finley passed a secret note to Arwell. He reads it and turns blight r bright red. Hey, I'd like to know what you wrote in that note. Well, no one will know. The sun is a highly deadly laser. Hey, true. In today's class, we'll discuss the foundational skills required for animal care. Things such as the difference between a good and bad scritch, how to avoid ruffling feathers, and so on. First off, I'd like to know about the animals that are in your care. Squid, no need to list off all the cuties. I know your cats quite well by now. My parents have a dog. He's a sausage type. Name's Oscar. Get a bit old. He's just a little guy. He's such a little guy! Oh, I just love little guys. By the way, today in 1945, the first bug in a computer program was discovered by a team of engineers, which included Grace Hopper in Cambridge, Massachusetts, when a real-life moth is removed with tweezers from a relay and taped into the logbook. <clears throat> I don't have any animals in my care, but my older sister has these two parakeets I sometimes look after. They're sisters, Dolly and Danglebee. All right, before I discuss my prepared materials, do we have any questions, class? Uh, actually, yes. Um, 
I was at a pet emporium the other day and a dog came up to me and sort of bit me. Not like a full on bite, didn't bite down. It didn't hurt or anything, but it did put a scare on me. I was just wondering what's the best thing to do in that kind of situation, Madame Carla Lala. Mm, sounds to me like this one badly trained pup. If Oscar did something like that, I'd discipline him for sure. Not that he ever would. He's a good boy. Besides, he never reached anything worth biting with those little legs. Arwell, I'm disappointed in you. Even doggies do a little bite are good boys. This dog was most likely frightened or agitated. Disciplining them will only make that worse. It would be so much better to treat them with love and affection until they no longer misbehave themselves. Is that... Is that true, Boo? Is that true? <laughs> I don't know, I still see that doggo needs a bit of tough love and lots of training. It's gotta learn what's wrong and right, don't it? As our fellow pet spurt, pet expert, what do you think, Squid? Uh, uh. Mm. It's fine to train them, but not discipline them. I think this is where I land personally. Reinforcing good behavior is important, kind of like with human kids. What worked better for you as a kid, Arwa, when a teacher gave you a sticker or when they got the upset with you? The sun is a deadly laser, the water <coughs> is poisoned, the couch is a secret mountain man, God is a lie, I am the atom bomb and I see all. Oh, so he found the tea. The tea that's been brewing for outside for quite some time. Oh, if you saw what I did with those stickers, you'd get upset with me too. Wow, this class just covered subjects I really did not expect. I now know things I can never unlearn. Uh, so was that, that was our first question. Let's get into the teaching material. Oh, look at the time. I have to be going class. I have another class to teach shortly. Oh, sweet. Saved by the well. bell. What you teach next, Carla? The mice in my shop attic just had a new nest. And those little rascals could use a lesson in respecting their downstairs, downstairs neighbors and basic hygiene. You leave the study table. We all learned something today, haven't we? We're not sure what, but you sure it's something. No, 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 trash man. No, 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 trash man. Hello, Squid and Squad. Hope you're all doing better than before. No. <laughs> How are you doing, Flossie? Oh, I gotta clean those bathrooms. I hope you're having a good day, though, Flossie. Stray cats looking for food. I'm surviving. I feel you. I feel you. Tomorrow is gonna be a shorter stream because I have, um... Oh, I already have Mateo here. Um... I have like 18 billion appointments tomorrow, so I gotta do them. I might start a slightly earlier. We'll find out. A, snip, a simple no, a bite of chomp with a stern no could do just as fine. Oh yeah. Same thing with Boo. Oh, Squid, I want to talk to you about something. It's about that cat shrine you've been renovating with the town people's help. Yeah. <coughs> well, this is tough for me. I want you to stop that. Or rather, Hawkable told me to tell you. They told me to tell you that they want you to, to want me to tell you to stop that. I am still sick. I am carrots. <coughs> I don't know how this is surprising. You heard me yesterday. Work is tossing random curveballs at me, and I have to redo a project because used the wrong template. Oh no! Hey, carrots. By the way, uh, thank you for the hydrate. I do have a, a bottle of um, a hot water. Mm. Thank you. Thing is, Hockable, you got tea and honey. Uh, I think I I have tea. I don't have any honey that doesn't that doesn't need to be like melted down. You know, Hockable has big plans for that particular spot. A design intern happened to draw a business center right in the future catwalk concept image, and now the top brass, my client, are dead set on the business center. Yeah, I'm not stopping for Hockable. I figured you'd say something like that. I mean, everyone working on the cat shrine to care of the cats. Town's cats made the town seem more lively as late. Let me change the subject for a second. Uh, phone, please log the following conversation under I may have trouble expressing feelings. Squid, can I ask you a question? Cloffy Breaks is fantastic, you know. Beautiful business, cute cats, talk of the town and all that. I'd call it a success by any measure. So the question is, do you feel satisfied? I am very satisfied. Wow, hit me with that positivity beam. But why is the positivity beam making me kind of sad? Or do you not feel bonita? Yes. Wonderful, because you look bonita. I, I think that's a lie, Carrots. I'm happy for you, Squid. I honestly am. I just wish I felt the same way. I've always been told that to be truly happy, you need to achieve success. I built my life around that fact. By any measure, I'd say I'd achieve success. I built a company. I've hiked mountains. I mean, have you seen my fancy coffee machine? 
for a corpse. Thanks, Malik. <laughs> but no matter how delicious bitter my cafe, I don't feel satisfied. I do feel bitter, come think of it. <laughs> you may be sick, but you still look hot. Wait, you're just hot. Here's some soup, all the love. Thank you. I'm going to make some soup today. Like, I might make some, like, just regular ramen broth without the noodles, just so I can get some, some salts back in my system. I poke fun because I care. That's true. That's true, you do. Make boar make you soup. He will not. <laughs> Just because I think he's afraid of like screwing it up and making me sick or, or something like that. I don't know. I want to eat it. I do. I want to eat so much. I'm so hungry. I had a bowl of cereal and it was like the most delicious thing I'd eaten. Achievement leaves satisfaction. Satisfaction leaves happiness. But how do I know when I'm satisfied? Much to think about. Thanks for giving me your honest opinion, Squid. And good luck with the cat shrine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He has a model train set. All right, he did say that he wanted to. He he was. Uh... Oh God, where am I gonna put this mother? Uh, right there. That's fine. No kitty, no. No. Kitty, kitty, no. Oh, I don't have a lure. Give me a lure. Thank you. Oh, I'm trying to, to stay strong. My deep fryer broke down. No! Where is it? Oh, thank you for the smooching. Oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, Lord, indeed, he coming. Oh, I gotta feed my cats. They're gonna steal food from the regulars. Oh, Boo Boo, are you, are you doing a thing? Are you doing a thing, Boo? Uh, he's he's coming over to me and he's just like slowly bumping into my face. Oh carrots carrots and for everybody else boom pup of the month look at that baby look at her while I pet my dog and ask him what he wants boo what do you want did you need to go outside did you need to go okay mm -hmm. she a cutie <laughs> uh, but boo wants to go and make sure that I go get some more water and that so he can go do some stuff too so if y'all don't mind, he is such a happy pupper. She's such a happy pupper, and he is too. Boom. We're going to put that there. I'm going to leave you with some, some fun music and... Uh... Sickness. Wow. You crashed my game. You crashed my game so hard. I don't know when we're going to get to that, but if it's uh, something, we'll... You know what? I'm just going to slide out. Sliding. Sliding.
Okay, I'm back at Wolfie. Uh, I believe the disease that uh, causes that kind of response in uh, Skyrim is vampirism. Pretty sure it's vampirism. <sighs> okay, I gotta relaunch the game. I don't know where we saved at or where it last saved. We'll find out if an autosave helped us or if we're just going back one day and I'm just gonna have to speed click through some things. Uh, I got some more water. Oh, God, it feels so good. <sighs> okay. Hear the story of a man's work with the cats. Okay. Yeah, I think we still gotta... Get a little bit of stuff done. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're just gonna have to speed click through him. Okay, good. We do have an opal. All right, good. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm sweating. Don't roll in your own pee. No, kitty. No. I still think this is a really cute game. I think they should do an autosave, though, throughout the day, not just at the end of the day, you know? Aw, that's cute. Oh, you have so many cat emotes! That's so cute! How could you, Flossie? So much cuteness! Okay, I do have actually more. <clears throat> but as I was saying, uh, this there's a cat cafe in... Um, those are standard set emotes. Oh my god, yes. Um, there is a cat cafe in uh, Minnesota, a couple of them. And uh, if I get to go to them, I will absolutely let you all know about it, okay? Take pictures like I usually do of things. More room, more space. Deep fryer is broken down. I need to get a new deep fryer. I just take orders and chat at people. That's all I do. Oh, there they are. They're finally talking outside. Get out of my way, people. 
buddies and pals come hang by my fire. How comfy, but Arwell, sweetie, why was your invite letter made with cut-up newspaper clippings? I think we all know why. And why'd you sign your letter with the Great Weaving Society? Sorry to say, I left Gavin's crochet kit at home. It's the Late Evening Society, Gramps. It's the name of my cool exclusive ghost story club. G -g -g ghost stories? Like the ones with creepy crawlies, dastardy devils, and gibbering ghoulies? <coughs> and frightening fiends? Look, blame Squid for putting up that campfire. You gotta tell spooky stories around one. That's fair. That's fair. Here goes. Submitted for the approval of the Late Evening Society. I call this story Scary Wood Time. Once upon a time, right here in Catterwall, there was this gal. Their name was uh, Jimbus. Yeah, Jimbus. So Jimbus and their friends of theirs, Yusuf, loved to go on these hikes in the woods. This one time, on a cold winter day, they went on a hike to Pop Top Mountain. That doesn't sound so scary. It sounds more like a level from those speedy the fast hog games Mateo likes to play. Hush, Jimbus and Yusuf are experienced hikers, but old Pop Top is the cream of the crop, mountain-wise. So they're real excited about topping Pop Top. Oh, aren't we all excited about topping Pop Top? As they started their climb, Yusuf turns to Jimbus. Are you sure this is a good idea? Didn't those hikers go missing here just last winter? Don't worry about it. This is my last climb before I retire. As a hiker, says Jimbus. Once I climb this, I'm handing in my boots and fleece pants. Oh, how lovely. I'm sure nothing untoward happens towards them so they can relax and enjoy their retirement. Oh, I wish I was as, as innocent as Carla Lala. Something tells me you haven't heard a lot of ghost stories, little Carla. After a couple hours of hot hiking, the wind gets, like, way worse. They can barely see through the snow, right? Jimbus can just make out this log cabin in the distance. As they get close to the cabin, they think they hear a sound in the woods, like this rhythmic ticking sound. Tick. Talk. Talk. Tick. Thanks for the sound effects. The storm's getting so bad, they see no choice but to check out this cabin. That night, they fall into an uneasy sleep, huddled together for warmth. That is, until something wakes Jimbus, a rhythmic ticking sound, tapping against their window. Talk. 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 Slowly, Jimbus rises to look out the window, black from the lack of light outside. With trembling fingers, they turn on the flashlight on their phone and point it at the window. <gasps> In the window, they see... Four or five raccoons! <coughs> Excuse me. A frozen hiker. Ah! Does the one telling the tale usually get scared of ghost stories? Uh, so this frozen hiker's hand slowly tapping the window. As Jimbus looks closer, they realize it's not the hiker that's moving, but the ice that covers them. I know, boo-boo! Yusuf woke up alone the next morning. He looked for Jimbus, but could never find them. To this day, he warns people, if you wake up in the middle of the night on a really cold night and hear ticking on the window, you best make sure it's not the heiser. Ugh, wait, the heiser? Yeah, it's a combination of ice and hiker. Like, duh. That tale was quite the scare, too. You got the bad guy's name sounding like some sort of cough medicine. <laughs> and so all that left was a hook. Exactly, Wolfie. I did my best. Next time you cough up a scary story, old man. At the late evening society rounds his first meeting, Carla Lala stays sitting by the fire. Uh, I think I'll sit here by the fire a little longer. It's nice and warm here, where the heiser can't get me. You dorks. I love you. Flossie, you're getting a cat named after you. I'm just taking people now. Oh, I don't have a cat free spot. No! Right, we had to do an adoption. Oh, so we still have Nacho Face. No! Oh, let's see. Da, 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 Punk's looking for cat. Nacho Face. I couldn't remember everything we had we had done. The cats will come back. And then I'll have a flossy. There you go, kitty. <laughs> Gotta clean that piddle diddle. Uh, I love scary stories, they're so cute. All right, leveling up Opal. More punk. Just need more punk. Uh, I gotta do more of my cooking.
Skip to morning. Lovely. Basic deep fryer. Okay, I wanted to get a new deep fryer. Is there a vampire? <laughs> Uh, deep fryer. Mm. Thank you, Boo Boo. He's like, I'm laying down, I'm getting there. Uh, okay, so I still gotta save up for some tea tables. And gold for the game table. Okay. <coughs> I didn't mean to buy that, but okay. Or did I? Maybe I did. Eastern yet, but I haven't unlocked that yet. Hello, everybody. Huh, calling a regular. We still got to talk to Arwal to get the level four. We serve together. All right, now we can go pick up our flossy. There we go. A flossy. A very keen observer. You learn a lot of new recipe, Squid? Keep at it. Oh, that's it? That's all you gotta say to me? I'll call you back. Don't think I won't. <sighs> Do we need more kit food? Okay, I'll get more cat food. There we go. Watch the the um, cheese or whatever. No, the salad. That's what it is. <sighs> the last of the homestyle cats. Traits tranquil. Oh, nice. Pet to kitty. Love the kitty. Mm 
Oh, cool. Excellent. New project. Um, I think we need more chairs. Yeah, more chairs. I shall return. I'm gonna get some extremely unhealthy food because my roommates are gone on vacation and no one can stop me. Bring me something back. Something salty, Valak. No one's worried about that yet. Let's get some more chairs and... Oh, no, let's get some tea house stuff. How could you just walk past kitties who need attention and playtime? Oh, hey, pal? Pal? Sure, pal. Pal, I got a question. Let's say you're on this cruise, right? Because you want a ticket. Okay. I appreciate it, pal. So you're on this cruise, but twist, the ship crashes. So you're stranded on this island all by yourself, and guess what I want to ask is, would you enjoy that? Do you think it's cool to just be by yourself? Sometimes I like alone time to recharge. Makes sense. Our will mutters to himself, maybe my battery's just busted. Honestly, I feel happier when I'm by myself. There's so many chatty weirdos in Cotterwall, and I gotta work so hard to scare them off. Mateo's annoyingly fearless, though. Not so bad, pal, you know that? You don't use up my battery all that much. Still, I'm out of power, okay? I gotta shut up for a while. That's fine. What? Stray lure? It's probably edible. Maybe? Okay. Punk babies. Oh, they're gonna want potato, potatoes and biscuit. Biscuits and gravy sounds so good right now. Oh my goodness, that sounds so yummy. Okay. <sighs> Make sure there wasn't any trash anywhere. Definitely more witchy. I'm also gonna level up Stitchy later on, cause uh, she's ready for it. You know, the Flossie's pretty. That's just generally la da da. Oh, I should have added to more artistic, because that is definitely stuff. We're at our cat limit. Oh, no. Uh, back to Carla Lala. <sighs> Oops, I gotta go get... Market stuff. Yeah, I gotta go get these ingredients. Cutting board, stove. That's fine. Biscuits, gravy, omelet, pancakes. Excellent. Oh, I need to get a mixer? Do I need to get a mixer now? Let's see. Coffee. I need eggs. Uh, I don't have any more points left now. Let's see. Can I adopt someone for witchies? Skid. We had a Sunday school kickoff at our church. We had a brunch filling bags of dry ingredients for the food bank, making cards and tie blankets. We had a potluck, and I forgot the scraps I used for doggy rope toys. Aww. <coughs> Is that so? Well, I'm sorry, Vishala. I need witchies, and you're a witchy. Level 5, cat. <sighs> Ooh, right. I need a mixer. I do not have a mixer. <sighs> Can I just get some basic mixers or something? Uh, beachy mixer is fine. Do I not have a stove? Mm. 
A witch's stove? Ooh, I want that! Okay, I gotta... I gotta get, um... Jewels and gold, okay. avant-garde salad. Love it. <laughs> Mateo has gathered everyone around the study corner. Everyone but Mateo looks nervous and jittery. Ayo, Squid, just the go-getting entrepreneur I'm looking for. You see, I was going to give a little course on business practice at your fine study table. That's when I got a way, way better idea. Bark tank, in which I make my friends bark business ideas at me, and I pretend to decide to invest in them. And whoever has them at my side, then you. You can be my bark buddy. Finn, I will never forgive you for putting this idea into his empty head. I apologize? I, there was a pun right there, and I had to go for it. It wasn't a good pun, even. Puns just have this power over me. Two teams will bark their nonsense, I mean investment opportunities at us today, Squid. Which pitch shall we hear first? Finley and Carla's Lala with Pest Cast or Bonner and RL with Bed Ride? Uh, Bed Ride. Have you ever walked around town, your hands full of shopping bags, your back aching, and all you want to do is get a good night's rest? Yeah, or have you ever been in a public place and heard someone express an opinion so bad it immediately made you want to go to sleep? That's what we call Bed Ride, a bed on wheels. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <coughs> we. Get a white van, bolt a bed in the back, and we drive you, you get in and lie down. It's that easy, right, Bonner? Oh, it's terrible. And unlike other companies which use pesky mobile application and websites, you can order your own uh, bed ride from any payphone. Oh, God. Dude, I think Squid has, like, the last payphone in front of their cafe, so I don't know if that's the best idea. So, feeling tired? Walk to your closest payphone now. We'll walk, you drive your way so you can hit the hay. Wowee, I can tell from Squid's blank stare that they're intrigued. So what sort of investment are you looking for? <coughs> we were wondering if we could borrow that white van of yours, Mateo, and your bed. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Noted. What now, Squid? All right, let's hear pet cast. Okay, Carlala, you got this. Uh, you throw up a ball and I'll dunk it, right? Oh, baseball metaphors. We really are entrepreneurs, are we not? All right, time for a real um, barn burner. Have you ever wondered what's a podcast? Well, so have I, but luckily my friend Finley explained it to me. Turns out they're like when your friends have a nice conversation, but all you do is listen instead of join in. It sounds lonely, but also exciting. That's right, Carla. And that's why we tried making a podcast, but it was terrible. Just the worst, absolutely baby tear. All right, I'm intrigued. That's when we thought, what if our unique um, Selly Point, there are so many good podcasts out there, or so I've been told, what if someone needs a really bad one? Bam, Pest Cast, a podcast so bad, it'll chase your pests away. Just play us at home, seal, leave your home about three days or so, and any pests that invade your space will be left out of misery. Pests deserve the worst. There's nothing quite as bad as somebody's first podcast. That's the Pest Cast promise. Unless they're nice pests, like mice, or ladybugs, or ants, or mosquitoes, or molds. All right, you had my attention. Now you have my confusion. What's your business model looking like? We're still working out the finer details, Mateo, but we're thinking about collecting fish and gems through some kind of mail system. Makes sense. Thank you for the pitch. Are you ready to hear the next one? I've decided who to imaginarily invest in. All right, time to bark up the right investment tree. I'm still workshopping that line, but it's got potential. Who are we giving the imaginary bucks? I guess bed ride seems like an actual thing that you could use, you know? Except for the payphone part. Yes, little Arlo, we did it. Uh, does this mean one of us gets to get their driver's license? Good luck with that, Bonner. Uh, I actually have a peg leg, so how about you get a driver's license? No way, you gotta study for that thing. Time for you to... Uh, I suppose we have some kinks to work out, Squid. I never knew running an imaginary investment show with no actual physical money involved could be this much work. You leave Mateo and his new partners to figure out the tax situation on imaginary money. Oh no, did my tits drop out? Hold on. There we go. I'm gonna save because I, I just did something which normally causes that to crash out a bit. Thank you for the water, uh, Wolfie, and the posture check. Okay, resume. 
Being around cats is very chill, as Finley would say. I find them positively freezing. Thank you. Oh, I don't have any lettuce. Hold on, I need lettuce. And what else? Milk. Can I afford milk? Yeah. You're fine, boo. Stray cats, yay! Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna name it after Apollo. Because I can. Alright, we've had, uh, we gotta go get the trash ones now. Um, trash. I need 310 fish for trash? <coughs> How could you? Can I get my... No, still not that yet. Okay. You monsters, play with the cats! Oh, I need to... You need to take that, thank you. Get a little more food. There you go. Everybody's happy. Except for someone who doesn't have a bed. Dag Nablet. Well, you're gonna have to just wait, I'm afraid. morning. Ooh, we only got a C, but it's because we had uh, so many missing potatoes. I'm just gonna get a really cheap stove then, because that's apparently what we need. <sighs> no. Okay, I need supplies. I need cherries. Ham, herbs, tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, and lettuce? Can I get lettuce? Not yet. Okay, thank you. Hi. 
totally not taken out of context. Totally not. You could never. You could never. As Juby say, want ham. Yes. There we go. Go ahead and cook your food. Uh, I cooked out the rest. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I was zoomed out all the way. <laughs> Thanks to all your hard work, Squid. Oh, thank you. Nobody has ordered a single potato so far. I have more cats. <sighs> more cats? Cat limit. Uh, I gotta wait till here. Um, let's see. To town. Still gotta wait to 310 fish. My goodness. Ooh, I was really low on cheese. And then lettuce. Ooh, we're cutting it close with the lettuce. Okay. My milkshakes are broken again. Well, I fixed it. Hmm. 
Ooh, stinky kitties. You got it. You got it. Oh, Squid Pal, check this puppy out. Arwell shows you a large cardboard box he placed on the study table. It has a picture of a plastic model in the front. Big, bright letters on the box read, Pretty Girl, Gun Cat, Entry 1 out of 144. Ooh, I'm a big fan of Pretty Cat Gun Girl. Wait, for real? There's a second gun head in Catterwall and I never knew about it? I just got a bootleg VHS of the school trip arc you gotta see. But first I gotta show Finley how to put this plaque this mother- uh, la, 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 la. To put together this plastic metal I got here. Since you're a fellow gun head, I'll let you join in. Were you talking about me? Oh, Arwell, what's in the weird box? This not at all weird box holds the answer to your troubles, Finn. Check it out. Pretty girl gun cat. Pretty girl gun cat. Why does this feel like 90% of the conversations I have with Mateo all of a sudden? This is far cooler than any other stuff Mateo's into, trust me. Besides, it'll help you with that thing we were talking about. What do you need help with, Finley? I'm having trouble staying focused with my music worth lately. I figured a nice relaxing hobby might do the trick and Arwell said he had just the thing. All right, if you're this excited about Pretty Girl Gun Cat, I can't help but get a little hyped. Who's this pretty-looking feline gunslinger? Arwell, his big fingers trembling with excitement, plays an episode of Pretty Girl Gun Cat on his phone while he explains. All right, so this girl, AI Fli uh, Flinidity, lives on the space station Deep Space Shine with her normal feline partner in Shine, Sola. She's just this completely normal space schoolgirl, right? Running with, uh, meeting a talking cat does seem pretty normal. Why do you say that with, like, zero sarcasm? So completely normal, right? That is until Deep Space Anomaly Mistress Illustrious preys on AI's fine emotional weakness to turn them into dark warriors. And that's when AI has to transform into Pretty Girl Gun Cat. Arrow begins wildly gestulating. I can't talk today. Swings his arms from side to side. Did Nacho Face get adopted? Nacho Face did get adopted, yes. And Hip Thrusts are a very interesting touch. Saving space one heart at a time with a pretty smile and a fierce gun. Pretty girl gun cat. In the name of the sun, I'll pat. I'll uh, name of the sun. I'll punish you. Yeah, I'm gonna clap furiously. That was amazing. Pretty girl gun cat seems like one tough cookie. You can stop doing the pose now, though. Ah, well, arms outstretched, realizing what he looks like. He looks majestic, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's pretty girl gun cat. Finley, you were telling me you had trouble focusing on your work and that you might like a relaxing hobby. That's when I thought maybe building these plastic models might do the trick. It's real easy. No glue required. And when you're done, you've got a pretty a cool gun cat. <gasps> Anna! Anna! They're they're doing a you! Is it really relaxing putting together a model? This manual looks pretty intense. For sure, plastic model building's a bit like cooking. At first, you just follow the recipe, right? You just take your time and follow the steps as you see fit. What a nerd. I love model building. I just can't do it. I'm not, like competent at it you know you know eventually you add your more touches like i add battle damage to the armor you know that does sound pretty relaxing you know Arwell, you're kind of like pretty girl gun cat yourself you know you're usually kind of in the background not making a lot of noise and you tend to put on this tough front to scare people off but when someone needs your help you transform into this whole other version of yourself and you do your very best to help them you know you're kind of amazing Arwell. that's ridiculous squid second opinion i completely agree finley Ah, you're like no help, Squid, but thanks, I guess. I appreciate it. Hey, that's cool. And ooh, Finley found another box underneath the pretty girl gun cat model. It reads Max Gunwolf Space Scourge. It shows a rad space wolf robot thing with abs. Oh, yeah, that's Max Gunwolf. He and Gun Cat have this sometimes rival, sometimes pal deal going on. Pretty common trip. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to go home and put this thing together to relax. Bye. Not sure what happened there, but at least she looked pretty stoked. I'll let you get back to work now, Squid. Thanks for hanging. Oh no! She saw a hard a hot cartoon. Was like, I gotta go. Yeah, isn't that like everybody's like first way into like um, anime? Is just you saw something that looks kind of hot, and you're like, I'm I'm here for it now. Hi. 
My mom always asked me to make the potions, but I've only mastered the pet medicine ones. Yeah, that's okay. Cheese platters. Thank you. Please have a nice day. Oh, just a little bit of cleanup to do today. Sure, nothing outside. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, I thought I'd be able to do a little bit more, but I didn't do a whole lot of stuff while I was doing um <laughs> morning, afternoon, whatever time of day it is. Happy Monday, happy Monday, muffin. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I thought that I'd be able to do a little bit more. Um. <clears throat> I am still feeling really sick. Or at least in the part where I still need to like get some more rest. You know, that kind of thing. Oh. Boo boo, what are you doing? Oh, my nose. Oh, please take care of yourself. I, I have drank so much water, Muffin. I've uh, I've already drained like three um, coffee holders, you know, because they're full of hot water. Uh, when you're resting, make sure to get up every once in a while. Take all the drink. I can't take any more until uh, 11 p.m. at night. Trust me, I, I've been keeping up on it. I have been. Um, because we are doing uh, cats and everything like that. We're gonna go and join this other uh, person here. Uh, if you have a, a subscription to me, you can copy paste that. If you don't, you can copy paste that um, or any other raid message you would like to. I'm going to try and get some more rest and uh, feel a little bit better by t tomorrow. Ugh, you know, I'm trying my best. I'm feeling really zombie like like this. I'm going to try my best, you know. Um, we're going to go over and spend some cool time with some fun people. <coughs> And uh, I will still be here tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a shorter stream because I've got like a billion appointments tomorrow. So I'm sorry for having shorter streams this week, um, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, make sure to eat something. Uh, drink some water. Uh, it, as I am quite obvious, it is good for you. Make sure to take your meds, including your vitamins. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, I know Boo. Boo's looking at me. He's like, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Um, so stick around for the raid and I'll see you all real soon. Okay, bye-bye.